Hi, I'm Fleming Berend, owner of uh, Fleming's Dental in Olympia, Washington. And uh, today we're going to talk about uh, dye preparation. And one of the most important steps in uh, making crown and bridge is the preparation of the dyes. And uh, I use uh, some steps that um, I have found really works over the years. Um, the first thing I do is I coat the the dye after I've prepped it with a clear coat hardener. This is a very, uh, very thin uh, hardener that um, I just kind of seal the margin with. After I have uh, sealed the margin, I use uh, undercut wax and I apply it all around the surface of the dye. And the reason I do that is because even though a dye may not look like it have undercuts, if you do a coat of undercut wax and wipe it off again, you will see that most uh, times uh, there are undercuts on the wall, on the, um, on the vertical wall of the dye, and of the dye prep. Uh, so by covering it in uh, undercut wax and removing the excess wax afterwards, you actually um, make it possible for the wax to release from the dye without any kind of distortion. After my undercut wax is applied, I use uh, two coats of uh, dye spacer. I use a Spacet uh, product uh, from a Taub. Um, I found that it works fine. Um, there, I know there are a lot of other products out there, but that's what I use. And uh, after I have applied that, I'm ready to start waxing up. I hope that you will find these tips helpful as you work in your own laboratory. Good luck.